Mechanic Check, and today we're introducing a long-term vehicle to us. We're calling Xena for the Xterra. Some people will get that reference, y'all can figure it out, but the X theme, we got that going on. So we got a, what we have is we have a 2007 Nissan Xterra. I'll get you why it's so special in a minute. It does look like maybe just a generic normal Xterra, but there's two things that make this thing really unique, and we'll get to that in a minute. But what we want to point, introduce today is this is going to be a long-term project vehicle for us. We're going to be, it's a 2007, we purchased off of Craigslist for $4,000, and we'll be making some modifications as we update this car. Uh, stay tuned on Instagram TV for some of those modifications. If you've got ideas for them, let us know. We've got a list of the ones we want to do, but this is what we've started with. Alrighty, car, we're on the inside of the Xterra. Uh, we mentioned on the outside that there are some special things about this. But before we get to that, what are some things, you know, it's a high mileage vehicle. What are some things we got going on in this? Well, you know, it's pre-owned. So the dog uh, from the previous owner used to chew on some stuff. Uh, the handbrake is a little not on a little bit. But you know what makes it special? First off, it's four-wheel drive. But what really makes it special is that it's manual. Not many cars are manual anymore, especially cars like this. So yeah, Carl's right. It's not perfect. I mean, it's a used car. It's got 183,000 miles on it, but it didn't cost much. And compared to a 4Runner, it was a heck of a deal. And like Carl mentioned, it's a little bit of a unicorn. It's fairly easy. You can find the Xterra Pro off-road or Pro FX. Maybe that's the Frontier. I think it's called Xterra that just had an off-road version. You can find those. You can find automatic four-wheel drives, regular, regular four-wheel drives. But to find a manual four-wheel drive, really hard to do. And so this does have an actual four low. It's an actual low range transfer case. So that gives it some pretty serious off-road chops. And surprisingly, believe it or not, the aftermarket community, the support community, the forums, there's a bunch of them. One of our favorites is the New X. That's a great forum to go check out more stuff. And we're gonna be all over that place as we try to figure things out. But yeah, this is, it's a little more engaging. It's fun to drive because of the manual. It's one of the other future things we have planned for this is we've got some off-road excursions planned. Um, we're gonna compare this compared to, to some other off-road vehicles and see what does better. We've got some pretty neat trails we've researched in the hill country. Uh, look for that coming soon and uh, we'll have a full, full review on that. So, you know, one of the themes of a Nissan, the Nissan Frontier, the Nissan Xterra, again, really simple. You can kind of see that in the dash and the layout. But you do have a good gauge cluster, easy to read. Um, you got a full set of gauges, battery, oil pressure, temp, fuel, and a tech tachometer. You've got a little gauge that shows you what four wheel drive mode you're in, and it works flawlessly. And the previous owner here has put a aftermarket radio in there. The standard radio, not the best, and that's a pretty well known issue as well. Gives us a nice little pocket. We may upgrade that later, who knows, but for now it works and we're happy. But all in all, I mean, it's this thing's dead simple. One of the other cool things about this, about the Xterra is the back is made out of just plastic. And so you can throw anything back there. It's almost like a pickup bed with a cab. I mean, it just doesn't, you can throw whatever you want with there. There's pretty cool straps and tie downs, and which is good so you can hold stuff down and it doesn't slide all over the place. We're not gonna get into hipster scores on this review, um, but another thing we always check out is Overland testing we won't get into that yet on this particular introduction but we will actually take it over landing so stay tuned for that we're really excited and more to come one of the things about nissan and these frontiers and xterras is they're really simple it's one of the last few cars that make that are just dead simple but still pretty reliable and the nissan 4.4.0 v6 like this has definitely has its issues and those are pretty well documented but they're pretty easy to fix, you know. So we've already got to fix a, a cam fat, camshaft position sensor and a crankcase position sensor. We're gonna do that later, but there's plenty of videos that show you how to do that because it's fairly common. Uh, the timing chains on this happen to be good. That is an issue on some of them, but you just kind of roll with it. One of the things Nissan didn't do a good job of is updating this thing. And I think you can buy the Frontier today and it basically looks the same on the inside. And I'm sure they've updated a few things, but well, they haven't updated much. The good of that is, and Toyota kind of did the same thing with the Tacoma and the 4Runner. It took them a long time to update it. But what that does is, man, it's a simple car. It's also really reliable, and there's tons of parts for it if something does break. So, you know, 
it is what it is. Anyways, hope you enjoy this long-term project on Xena. We think we uh, have chosen a cool name for it. Uh, let us know in the comments below what you think about that. But um, we got a, lots of updates coming, and be sure to tune in.